Greetings, this video explores the new modules paradigm in Spectre Layers 11. The user interface has been redesigned specifically to accommodate the ever-increasing number of available processes. The new modules pull-down menu replaces the unmix and process menus in the previous edition. All processes are now visible under a single menu grouped into three process categories, unmix, utilities, and restoration. Here, on the left, we have the pull-down menu, and on the right, we have the new modules panel, as it appears in the panel section of the interface, with all process options showing. Now, you may have noticed this other item at the top of the modules menu pull-down. This is the modules chain module. It can be accessed in the modules panel, and it's a key feature of the modules paradigm new in Spectre Layers 11. Keep watching. We'll discuss this module and modules chains in detail in a moment. In the meantime, here I have a song loaded in Spectre Layers for unmixing. Take a look at this time-compressed example of a typical song unmixing session that uses four unique AI-assisted Spectre Layers unmix processes. The entire multi-stage operation takes place focused in the panel display. In this workflow, there's no need to access the module's pull-down menu. Even as project layers start building up, you can easily scroll to any process you need in the modules panel. All available processes are shown in the modules panel. You can filter by category or create and save your own custom module panel presets, like I'm doing here. Okay, now let's turn our attention back to the new modules chain module. This is where you can set up process chains that can perform multiple processes in a single pass. We begin by dragging the target processes into the modules chain window. Processes can be switched on and off with the bypass buttons. The process setting buttons give you access to the chained process parameters, including preview options for every process, which can now function in loop mode, making it really easy to tweak processes on the fly. This improvement in dynamic spectral processing is a key workflow feature in the new edition. Now the selection button is interesting. When ignored, processing is applied to the entire layer. Clicking the button places the process into selection registration mode. Selections get stored and then processed when the chain is applied. In this case, the surrounding audio remains untouched. Finally, the target layer option. Now this takes a minute to get your mind around, but it's worth it because it's so fascinating. In the dialog, you can specify which layer will be processed. What's interesting is that your options include any existing layer, as well as future layers generated by upstream processes in the chain. For example, in this chain, the Unmix Components process comes first, and it's going to result in three unique layers, Tonal, Transient, and Noise. I want the reverse process to be applied to the Tonal layer only, so here I'm specifying that in the dialog. Module chains can be saved as presets. Here, I'm naming and saving this one. The Clear button gives you a fresh start. Modules can be selected here as well as dragged in, and then there's the Apply button, which we'll exercise back over here on the interface screen. Let's apply the modules chain preset that I just created. Listen to this beat loop. Here, I'm selecting the Modules Chain module, calling up my preset, registering the selection, and applying the process. Now this is a clear illustration of what you can accomplish using module chains. You can easily hear and see that half of the tonal layer has been reversed, while the other two layers generated by the first process in the chain, Unmix Components, play back normally with no reverse processing applied anywhere. This level of stratified, highly targeted processing will be a welcome addition to your workflow in purely creative sound design like we've done here today and for streamlined repair and restoration work especially when used in conjunction with batch processing and all the other new features and improvements in Spectre Layers 11. We hope you enjoyed this video. Spectre Layers delivers state-of-the-art spectral processing for editors in every field. Subscribe to the Steinberg YouTube channel and learn more about how you can leverage this application in your production workflow.